Hey guys, um, just wanted to make a tutorial on how to do 3D cam movement. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me how I do my movements and it's hard to explain so I decided to just make a full on explanation on how to do it. Alright, first things first, you need to add a camera and then put, put a null on top of the camera and then before you do anything make sure you have motion blur and uh, 3D on and then parent it onto the null. And then let me explain these first. So these are your zoom out, uh, zoom out and ins. So if you want the camera to go forward, just use this. And then these are your X and Y positions, X and Y. So this is X, left and right. And this is up and down, Y. Pretty simple. And then you just gotta mess with these so first keyframe it to where you want the movement to start and then just do your movement so let's do like a simple zoom out all right so this is the tricky part if you, you if you want to do 3d cam movement do not use the value graph and edit with the speed graph so in order to do that just right click and then turn on edit speed graph and then highlight both of those and then make it like this graph and here it is it's pretty smooth as you can see and let me explain this to you the top here is the sudden movement where it zooms out so if you want to make it instant then just make the graph onto uh, like this it instantly zooms out but if you do it on the middle it'll add momentum and then it'll suddenly just zoom out it's pretty simple now we got our first movement done and you're probably wondering how you do the second movement so all you have to do is add a null and then cut it to where you want it to be and make sure uh, 3d and motion blur is on and then this time you make the null get uh, no parent onto the one on top and let's say you want the camera to move to the right you just do the same thing again position the keyframe to where you want the movement to start and then simply just move to the right easy ease them highlight and then make it to what graph you want it to be so right there it's pretty smooth um, like if you want it to be smooth with flow you just need to space out the keyframes and it'll look exactly like this and that's kind of it pretty simple stuff